Good morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 210, which basically means we're halfway through this review. Um, so we're even that much closer to part two of the workbook. We have a central thought. We have a guiding thought. We have a mantra, if you will. We have a holy celestial earworm, however you want to describe it for, for yourself. It is that I am not a body, I am free, and I am still as God created me. It is a truth. That is what we're really dealing in today with our review lesson. What is true and what is not? So what is our, our lesson is, is I choose the joy of God instead of pain. So I'm choosing what is true, which is the joy of God over pain, which is a thought of the ego, which means it's an illusion, which means it isn't real. So to choose the joy of God instead of pain is kind of like what, you know, I've said in the past, a no brainer. It's not a difficult choice for us to make. And yet for many it is. And it's only because that our little earworm that I am not a body isn't believed. I don't totally understand or agree with the idea that I am not a body. I still think I am. So if I think I am a body, then I would choose pain. Pain would be part of my, um, my life because the body is the home of the ego and pain is a thought from the ego. It is one of the ego's gifts to us, believing that we are bodies. So I choose the joy of God instead of pain should not be a difficult choice, but for some it still is. That is why we have to practice. That is why we have to understand what the ego is and what pain is and how we can overcome our belief in pain. Pain is an illusion because the ego is an illusion and the idea of pain comes from an ego mind. Other things that are that come from the ego mind and in truth are not real, happen to be lack and fear. And the ego itself, anything that instills a feeling of less than, I can't, I don't deserve, those are all ego thoughts. They all come from that one same source with a little us. So in our italics, the lines for practicing, it, we are told pain is my own idea. It is not a thought of God, but one I thought apart from him and from his will. So I'm going to just reiterate what I said yesterday. That's on my, uh, on my business card and that I, and a Janetism that you are either a part of God or you are a part from God. If I am a part from God, I believe that pain is real. I believe that the ego is real. I believe that fear is real. But those are not any of the thoughts from God and they are not God's will for us. God's will for us, what we must understand is perfect joy, perfect happiness, perfect peace, perfect love. Because these are all attributes that come from the whole mind creator that thought us up. We are the extension of that thought. We are an extension of that mind. And we are blessed to have all of the same attributes as our source. So pain is a thought that I thought apart from God, apart from God's will. And his will is joy and only joy for his beloved child. And that I choose instead of what I made. We have in the text the prayer on in Finet Foundation for Inner Peace book, um, the blue one, and what I refer to as the responsibility prayer. It's not often what everyone wants to hear. In fact, I have said it's probably a good reason why many books have gone flying across the room but that I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I would experience and I decide upon the goal I would achieve. And everything that seems to happen to me 
I ask for and receive as I have asked. So, have I asked for pain in the past? Yeah. Am I choosing again today? Yes. Today I am taking the responsibility for what I have done in the past. Ah, but the past is gone. So I get to choose again. And now, now I choose the joy of God instead of pain. I choose the truth instead of illusions. I choose love instead of fear. I choose abundance over lack. I choose God over the ego. That is what we do today. We're choosing to not be a body, to be who we truly are, to be as God created me. So we have our little earworm. We practice in the morning, at least 15 minutes. We practice in the evening, at least 15 minutes. And hourly, we remind ourselves, I choose the joy of God instead of pain. And if a pain or fear thought comes up and into our awareness and seems to tempt us to believe in that, we simply say, this thought I do not want, I choose instead the joy of God instead of pain. And I am not a body, I am free, and I am still continuously as God created me and you and all of us. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope it helped, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying our review, I am. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, um, please smile, please choose wisely today, and please be here tomorrow. Namaste.